Warning. If the topic of psychological manipulation and emotional enslavement of women offends you, I want you to stop watching this video. And if you want to continue, you must agree never to use this knowledge to hurt women. Deal? Great. Let's start. You see, I've been trying to look for the best method on how to seduce a woman with words and nothing else. It had been a quest that had taken me a good couple of years. The truth is that there are certain lines or routines based on mind control which you can use on a woman which will make her fall in love with you. These have been kept secret for a long, long time, and today you're going to learn what the secret is from me. Excited? I sure hope you are, because from this point in your life onward, seducing women will be as easy as shooting fishes in a barrel. No kidding. But before I share with you my secret technique, help me by clicking like because you're one cool guy and I'll be encouraged to produce more of these videos for you. Done that? Great. Now let's start. Before I tell you about the specific mind control trick that will give you the superpowers to seduce any woman you want, let's switch gears a little and talk about a very important mind control concept. Hidden Addictions of the Female Mind Have you wondered what makes mind control more effective than pickup artist tricks? The reason is this. There are hidden addictions inside every woman's mind, and these addictions are weaknesses that you can exploit to make a woman subservient to you. And you know what? The only way to access these weaknesses is to use mind control. This means that if you are a master of mind control techniques, you'll be able to exploit the physical vulnerabilities inside a woman's mind whenever and whenever you want. Sounds great, right? Inside Derek Rake's Shogun Method, there is a complete list of a woman's psychological vulnerabilities which you can exploit to make her completely surrender to you. But in this article, we will only touch on one specific vulnerability. It turns out that every single woman, with no exception, is vulnerable emotionally in one very specific way. The female brain has a hidden addiction to emotional roller coasters and drama. Let me explain. Have you ever wondered why women seem to like watching soap operas on TV? They get addicted to that stuff, even though they make them bawl their eyes out with sappy storylines and shit. The same thing goes with chick flicks like the ultra-sentimental Me Before You, cringingly sappy songs by Air Supply, or the rows and rows of Mills and Boone romance novels lining up at Barnes & Noble. Why are women addicted to cheeseball shit like that? Here's the answer. Those romance novels, songs, TV shows, and movies have one thing in common, and it is this. They take the reader or viewer through an emotional roller coaster, forcing her to go through a repeated cycle of happiness and sadness along the storyline. When a woman goes through an intense emotional roller coaster, she builds an emotional connection with the story and by extension, the storyteller. What I'm going to tell you next is exactly how you can seduce a woman using nothing but words, so pay close attention, alright? Similarly, you can build an intense emotional connection with a woman if you bring her through an emotional roller coaster by making her feel happy, sad, and happy again in quick succession. In short, you can replicate the soap opera effect with a woman in order to make a woman feel emotionally invested with and addicted to you. Amazing, isn't it? So how do you replicate this soap opera effect with a woman and make her emotionally addicted to you then? Pretty simple, actually, with a very special mind control technique called fractionation. Here's a little background about the technique. Fractionation is an age-old technique which is used by hypnotherapists to make their clients go into trance quickly. Its use in seduction is fairly recent and dates back only a couple of years ago when Derek Rake found that it could also be used to make a woman develop emotional rapport quickly with a woman. So here's how you can use fractionation to build quick emotional connection with a woman. The first step is to make her recall an experience she had which made her happy. For example, you can ask her, Think back to an instance when you feel especially happy, joyful, and ecstatic. What happened? How did you feel? Make her describe the experience as vividly and as detailed as possible. Remember, you want her to re-experience the joy she had felt at the top of the emotional roller coaster. Then, similarly, ask her about a negative experience. Do you remember a time when you felt especially depressed, sorrowful, or sad? What happened to you then? How did you feel? Again, get her to describe that experience in vivid detail. 
you want her to re-experience the sadness she had felt at the bottom of the emotional roller coaster. Then bring her back up by telling her a happy story or experience yourself. See her lighten up considerably and then bam, hit her with a sad story. See how it works? Quite easy, right? With enough emotional roller coaster cycles, you'll trick her brain into developing a quick emotional rapport with you. If you do this long enough with her, she'll soon be addicted to you, just like how she can't resist watching chick flicks and soap operas. Sounds great, doesn't it? However, I do have to let you know that a mind control technique like fractionation can be easily abused. And indeed, there are psychopaths who deliberately use mind control to hurt women. And for this reason, we must control who gets access to this knowledge. So this is what you need to do. At the end of this video, you'll find an opt-in form for you to enter your name and email. Please use your best email address. And after you have entered your details, you'll be redirected to a new page with instructions on how to receive your very own invite to the Fractionation Online Masterclass. Remember to follow the instructions carefully to check if you qualify for the Masterclass. Good luck!